Boxing in the Kitchen, Episode 6, in the whole Box Kitchen. So as you can see, I'm just um, boiling away some savoury rice. I've got three peppers roasting in the oven, because I've got two friends coming over to eat. And I'm just um, frying some uh, mushrooms in butter and garlic, because it's one of my favourite side dishes and my mate Gareth loves it as well. So, in this um, episode, I better be quick because I'll be here soon. In this episode, uh, is it still recording? Yeah, good. In this episode, I'm just going to do the Amir Khan card quite quick. So yeah, Amir Khan, um, 13th of uh, December in Las Vegas. Amir Khan fights Devon Alexander. It's a good card. Um, just briefly, there's some good um, fighters on the undercard, although I don't think they're in very competitive bouts. Um, the likes of who's on it. Uh, Errol Spence, um, Adna Mares, uh, I think there's some other fighters. Who else is on it? Well, anyway, there's some there's some um, decent fighters on the undercard, but they're not really in good fights. But anyway, yeah, the two main um, events are very good. The two main fights. Yeah, Devon Alexander against um, Amir Khan. I think Amir Khan wins. I don't really see a way that Devon Alexander can win, to be honest. I mean, Devon Alexander does good against rudimentary fighters who apply pressure and are there for the counter um, punches. He's a good um, counter puncher, he's a good um, boxer puncher as well, but I don't think he does well um, against the likes of um, Amir Khan. I mean, he struggled against Lucas Matisse, who's a powerful uh, boxer puncher who knows how to apply pressure. Okay, Amir Khan's not really like that, but he struggled against um, Lucas Matisse, struggled against uh, Andre Kotelnik, who's a bit like Matisse in that he knows how to pressure and he's a boxer puncher. And who else did he shot? Oh, and he, and he got completely blasted out there by Sean Porter. Okay, he's nothing like Amir Khan. So I'm not, you can't really relate what I'm saying to that, actually, to be honest. But I think they, those fights just go to show that Alexander isn't an elite fighter, in my opinion. I think, you know, he struggled against a lot of fighters who a lot of people wouldn't have struggled against. Um... You know, and they can totally, um, you know, did a number on uh, Kotelnik. But then Styles make fights, so it's all a load of old rubbish. Because um, Devin Alexander beat Marcus Maidana better than Amir Khan did. So, you know, again, Styles make fights, whatever. Anyway, Amir Khan does well against Southpaws, as one of my mates told me this week, you know, reminded me. He does well against Southpaws, like he did against uh, Zab Judah and um, Luis Colazo last time out. And... I don't think Amir Khan is going to have any problem with Devin Alexander. He's not going to get countered in the way that um, some other fighters have done or can do. He's not going to get outfoxed by Devin Alexander. He's not. He's, Devin Alexander isn't faster than Amir Khan. Amir Khan is much faster. I think Amir Khan is just going to be too fast, too precise, too um, perpetual. He's going to be throwing punches all night long. And... Even Amir Khan with his chin, and he does have a suspect chin. I don't think it's quite as bad as some people think, but it's it's worse than maybe other people think. But he's not going to have a problem with Devin Alexander. Devin Alexander's last good knockout win, in fact, he's only two good wins really in the last few years. Good as in um, where he looked great, were against Marcus Maidana, where he totally outfoxed him. But like I said, Marcus Maidana is a you know rudimentary fighter and uh, Lee Purdy, who was completely out of his depth. And, and it, Amir Khan is a complete different level to, um, well, at least to Lee Purdy. He might not be a different level to Maidana, but he's, I'd still say he's more talented. So, yeah, Amir Khan, I think, totally um, does a number on Keith Thurman. Anyway, I better be quick, because my mates are going to come around. And the second fight, Keith Thurman versus uh, Leonard Bundu. That's a really good fight. That's a, that, Americans might not know who Leonard Bundu is. We do over here in Britain because he's fought um, a couple of Brits in his last fights. He is, Leonard Bundu is, you know, a classic, you know, pressure fighter. He is going to give Keith Thurman nightmares from the beginning. You know, he's going to be, he's going to go straight out there. This is his one and only chance, really, because he's already in his 30s. <clears throat> this is his one and only chance to make a statement on the world scene, he's probably not going to get another chance, especially if he loses, which I think he will do. So he's going to be pressuring Thurman from the beginning. And in my opinion, I think he's going to last at least half 
after the fight. I still think Thurman's going to win. He's probably going to knock him out, but not not knock him out cleanly. It'll probably stop him. I think the referee will will give Bundu because it's in America as well, where referees tend not to be as trigger happy as in Britain. But he, he's going to the referee will give him all the um, chance in the world, and I think he's going to just knacker himself out. He's going to be too tired by the end of it. And uh, I think um, Furman will probably end up stopping an, an exhausted uh, Bundu. But I'm thinking sort of round 10 or 11. If it goes that far, then he could probably last a distance. So I wouldn't be at all surprised. The only thing I think Bundu has got against him is he's not the fastest. Uh, he's not the fastest and um, he's not the most talented. And, and what was I going to say? Mm, oh, and he's um, smaller than Thurman. On Boxrec, it says there's only like an inch difference, but I, I'd say sometimes Boxrec wrong. I'd say there's two or three inches difference in in the height, and and in, especially in reach. And that means that um, Thurman could be taking pop shots at him all night long from a distance, which is going to make it hard for Bundu, and it's going to stress him out. Anyway, this is just about done. I'm just going to take this out of the oven. Take this out the oven. Yeah, all in all, I think that's a really good card. I think that is, uh, you know, we've had a few poor cards over here in Britain recently, and it would be nice to see a competitive card like this one. So, personally, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, because I've got friends coming around, what I might do is simply serve this up now, and then I'm going to turn this off, serve it up, and then just add it on to the end of the video. All right. There you go, I said I would do a video at the end, so there you go, as you can see, that's my roasted uh, pepper with uh, savoury rice in it. And then you've got some savoury rice, uh, some peas, and some roasted mushrooms with uh, garlic. So there you go, that's been my video, and the next video I do will be Bradley versus Chavez and the undercard of that card. Alright.